Hello everybody, me again Matthew Taylor here and today we are talking about Right. The original games of Resident Evil are, have been more complex and always are more more complex and strategic than the new ones released today. For example, for Resident Evil 1, to get a shotgun, you had to go in a room with a broken shotgun halfway around the whole map, go back right to the beginning with the broken shotgun, replace it with the broken shotgun, and then only will you have seven bullets in the shotgun. They are f at the start of Resident Evil, when the very first game, when they burst into the mansion, Albert, G Jill, and Barry, there are three intros that are available to play here. There's the one where you just follow it all the way through. You get the zombie eating Brad, then you kill it, then you go report back to Wesker. The second one is you go in, see the zombie, see Brad, but you run into Barry, and then Barry kills the zombie. But there's also a third secret ending where you go in the dining hall, go back out to Wesker. Go back out to Wesker, where he will say, does members always investigate gunshots? You go back in, and if you try to leave the second time, Barry will stop you, and the zombie will burst through the door, and Barry will kill it. <laughs> Next is Brad from Resident Evil 1. In number 1, he is the helicopter pilot that you must... Well that helps you escape the mansion. However, he is dead. You can find him dead in Resident Evil 2. If you've unlocked the special key. This is, you find him dead because in Resident Evil 3, he was killed by the tyrant in front of Jill Valentine. Halfway during the development of Resident Evil 2, um, the plot and the design of it was scrapped and redesigned to from Leon was the same but however before it was a different girl who had nothing to do with being Chris Redfield's sister. Re the Resident Evil was actually made from Devil May Cry as it was, as it was originally a first design and it was going to be the original name Resident Evil however designers and makers didn't agree with that and <coughs> Resident Evil on its own was born there are also many references in different games of Resident Evil one of these is the Jewel Sandwich. In number one, Jewel is about to get squashed by a, by a room collapsing in. Barry rescues her and says, Whoa, you're almost a Jewel Sandwich. The line Jewel Sandwich has been used in many games. Here is two of them. In Resident Evil 2, when you're playing as Leon or Claire, you go up to a note on the desk and it says recipe for making dual sandwich and in Dead Rising in the pizza plaza there is a sandwich shop called dual sandwich I have enough time for one more um, Resident Evil is mostly known for its bad voice acting and normal acting as it was a low budget creation at the time and the last one is there's a, in the battle mode in the Resident Evil game you, you get to face a hidden zombie Wesker at stage 9 thanks for listening folks see ya later